Good morning. This morning we're leaving very early, so I'm getting a iron infusion. Yay! Now I have energy to finish. Energy to finish! I have five different projects. I have three holes in the bathroom. One hole in the kitchen. One cabinet to rip out, one cabinet to put in. Got lots of stuff to do, lots of projects. So by next week I'll be feeling good. I always feel really bad afterwards and I'm like, why did I do this? But um, I know it's like going to be super good for me for at least a couple of months. All right, Hadar is emptying this counter and taking off the countertop and this is gonna go. Okay, Raphael and Abigail did help to take all of the stuff out. Okay, um, we're, we have an issue with the floor. There is no floor down here. Well, I say no floor. There's a particle board floor um, and very tight linoleum that is bowing. Okay, so I'm going to save things like this. Um, this is wood. This is not this is not this is not I don't I definitely don't want this this I'm very allergic to um, I don't know if it's the glue or whatever in OSB but I'm very allergic to that so I do know that and I don't want it in my house this is wood great wood wood so the frame is wood it's just the face stuff is not wood that's wood and it's attached to the thing, but um, as you can see, it is made out of a one by two or a half by two. <laughs> I don't know. This is a two by four and this is the frame of, this is what I put up to go with my countertop because my um, cabinets were too far out for my countertop. So this is probably going to stay. All of this is probably going to stay and hopefully I can just put this down in a hole under here after I make a floor and then I can have my countertop and this can rest my countertop this real wood which is attached with that same very cheap wood very spindly wood and held up by this even more spindlier wood um, these are very generic, terrible cabinets. They were put in. Thankfully, we did have, you know, something to put our silverware drawer in. But this is gonna go. Look at this. When you slide this in and out, homemade, right? So when you slide this in and out, this particle board <laughs> fall. Who thought to make that out of particle board? Okay. Another piece of particle board on some real wood, it looks like. I'd probably keep those. I don't know. Use them somewhere else. We'll see. But yeah. Alright, let's get to it.
Okay, this isn't as rotten as the other one. It is bowed quite a bit, you can see. Not straight, it's bowed. I started the screws, or the nails, to pop them out. I'd like to take this whole piece out at once so I don't have to unscrew anything. That'd be great. And then I can't get these out until we move this cabinet. That's how close that is. This is real wood. Hi. Hey. All right, you got to get out because something can go flying, okay? I want to. We're work. ripping it out. Okay. Is it getting messed up? Really messy. Yeah. I have a double layer here, so I'm able to get it, but. Um, Hi, it's coming out in sheets. So, all right, all right, all right. Let's get, let's get it. It's stapled into here. It feels like the other one. As soon as I ripped it out, I felt like I could breathe. Like it opened up some hope. <laughs> Open hope right here. Open hope. So I got two more to release from the hopelessness. And then fix that floor. I'm so excited. All right. So I ripped this baseboard. This looks like it's probably going to be easier because the floor joists are going this way. So I can just lay some long 2x4s this way, paint and seal. <laughs> yeah, nothing ever goes as planned, but look, this is so dirty. Because you can't clean up underneath of there, but things are getting thorough, and there's bugs and all kinds of gross things here. And uh, here's the floor. It's something decking. Mill 25, Class D2, NPA. It's literally sawdust and glue, and it falls apart. So there's two pieces in here, it looks like. You can see the... Can you see the big dip? The big dip right there? Where, like, they had this uh, particle board shelf. Yeah, this is this is very disgusting with all these bugs. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this out. I've already started. Gotta razor blade it out. This is like the thickest naga hide. <laughs> I don't even know what they used. It's so thick. It's throughout the entire house. And I know when I see this ugly yellow floor that there is particle board floor underneath. And that is just so ridiculous. So it looks like they did put this plywood right on top of the particle board floor. But I'm ripping it all out and putting two by fours, so, you know. Start ripping the uh, our hoose. Yeah. Where did our hoose go? I start ripping the floor out. 
put some two by fours this way because the rafters are going this way. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to cut 500 boards. Maybe four or five. Wow. Oh, is it attached? No, it's not. Can I rip this off? No, uh, no don't rip it off. Alright, I, I want to save it because it's, you know, just pull it out like a drawer. Hey, I am. Oh, me. okay. It's, uh, see, pulling on the bottom here. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, see that stopper? It's pretty terrible. I'm going to rip them apart. Alright, so I just got this end. You want to rip it out? No, I'll give you the, let you have the uh, Well, I can't get through here because of this cabinet here. Well, this is so much fun to rip it out. It's I know, the, I can't uh, get through here. Look at my floor. Getting it off of here is the not fun part. Look at my floor, it's buckled because there's no floor down there, so it just sinks. All right, what do you need me to do? Uh, move this out of the way. I'll move it out? Yeah, That's we have be... so much stuff in here, but it's gonna be fixed very soon. soon. We're gonna have so much more room for activities. Room uh, for activities. It's gonna be so fun. That's true. Just watch everything that you step on because everything has nails in it. I'm not letting the kids in. <laughs> Look at this floppy piece of silicone. They held the cabinet. They did a the lot of things up. wrong. Uh, you, did you document everything? Because there's it's been so many wrong things with this cabinet. Yeah, I'm so happy to get this um, out of here. Like, I could breathe. $400 breathe. in Israel, bought brand new ones. Yeah. Not good, but it was plenty. Fun. Yeah. It was nice. Had marble top. Marble top. Thick. Nice, solid. We could move it with inch. us. Yeah, we moved it with us. Oh, I, I, yeah, I might put my hands on it. Oh, yeah. But it was good. I'm not sure why they do this on their own. It's very yeah. The, we if you're gonna do it on your own, at least buy something like at least one well-made cabinet. You know. It's just at least one. You don't know what you're buying into until you're you build it. In it, and then yeah, you have to rip it out. Yeah. 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 I'm very disappointed with what we're living with right now, but it's going to look so much better and be functional. I, I, I'm going to have three drawers that I can actually use. It's going to hold all of my stuff, actually. I do like it. Yeah. I'm going to grab a bite. All right. Flooring. It's easy. Cabinets are ripped out. There's a, a gaping hole there. It's got to be, got to be some animals in there. Got to be. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. It's just not going in. Uh, get rid of all of these. I already got rid of these. Very rare to see a cabinet made out of plywood. Really good quality stuff. <laughs> We're going swimming. I ain't gonna wait around for some cabinets to be built. Look how nice that is.